Hi, welcome to Short Run Pro and our video series on uh, various manufacturing topics. I'm your host, Arthur Toll. Um, right now, we're going to talk about uh, forming versus welding. This is a lot of this is something that a lot of people don't think about, um, but it can really save you some money. So I'm going to I've drawn some examples on the board here. We got a, a T bracket. Um, this is just a really basic part. People, you want to mount this to a wall and then have this little little end coming off uh, to try to uh, to try to mount something to that. Um, but I'm going to show you that a simple design change is really going to save you some money. Um, all you all you need to do is instead of having this in the middle, move it off to the side and just move your second hole back to the middle over here. And this way, we can make it with forming or bending. Um, instead of welding. Welders are skilled tradesmen. Uh, they, they have to take tests, they have to get certified to operate in a, in a uh, quality controlled uh, facility like we use. Um, so, so they cost more money per hour to make. Also, welding is going to take longer than forming. Uh, for forming, you just take the part, you put it in the die, it bends it, you take it out. Welding, you got to set up fixturing and then do the weld uh, and typically takes about uh, a minute per per inch of weld, whereas uh, forming is going to take just a couple seconds. Um, another place that a lot of people uh, uh, don't think about um, that is going to end up costing them money in welding is uh, is this little this little uh, piece. Now what I'm now what I'm drawing here is uh, top down of a part that has an inside corner, okay, and this inside corner's got a little, little piece that comes up like that. So it looks like this. All right. Now you see um, when we made this part, we did it. We did it right. You notice there's that little that little gap right there. Well, the reason for that is if you take this part and it's closed, looks like this. And this is the cut line. And these would be the bend lines. So bend line right here, bend line right here. As you can see, this section right here would have to bend both that way and that way in order to make, uh, make a part where this is closed. So in order to save, uh, save a little bit of money so you don't have to weld the part instead, we just cut that down the diagonally down the middle. And that way, this half can bend this way, and this half can bend this way, and you end up with a part like that. Doesn't hurt the part at all. Um, it just uh, just makes it easier to fabricate. A uh, helpful tip: if you're if you're making a part, you're not sure if it's going to need welding or or not. Just start with a piece of paper, and try to make your part out of that piece of paper using only cutting, using scissors or something like that, and folding. Just folding the part. If you find if you find that you have to get out the glue and glue something something on, then you're going to need some welding when your part's being made. Now, not every part is going to be able to uh, get rid of welding. Sometimes you're going to need it, uh, but if you take some time to sit back and think about your your design, uh, you can usually end up uh, finding a way to save yourself money by cutting out welding. Uh, that's all I have to talk to you about on uh, welding. Uh, so uh, join us next time for, the, for when we talk about uh, uh, other manufacturing topics relevant to you.